We're here today at Crap Lovers Farm. And this is Sam, one of the founders of Crab Lovers Farm. And today, we're going to talk about some crabs. Actually, I got you here to farm some crabs. Huh? Angel, this is your uniform. Huh? U uniform? Yes. I'm really going to work. Sure. So every crab has one house, uh, one house here. So we actually label them as block. And oh. Like like HDB. Ah. Oh, that's really cool. It's like, oh my god, hello. Yeah, yeah. My turn. I'll find a super dirty one. Clean, clean. Is it powder okay? So mud crabs, they are also known as mangrove crabs. And why? Because their natural habitat, they are in the mangrove areas. Unlike the flower crabs, right? Actually the mud crabs, they can like they come out of water and stay there for quite some time. But flower crabs, they will usually just die quite fast. I don't even clean my house eh, but here I am cleaning the crab's house. What's this? Now the crab consume about 5 to 10% of their body mass. Oh, okay. So we actually feed them, the, the favorite food is muscle. So apparently, according to Sam, they like to eat mussels. Why? Because they want to have some challenge. They want to crack open the shell. But it's not a lot of shell, right? I, I give you a prawn. Here you go! Oh, 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 we started moving. So fun! It's like, eh. So crabs, they are not always like this. They actually start out as microscopic plankton. So you know, their larval stage, right? It's actually really tiny and they float along with the currents as part of the plankton group. So they are known as zoea. And then they'll grow up to be, they'll grow to be the megalopa, which is the post larval stage. So this is where the appendages started growing out, but they are still floating. But they are starting to find a place to settle down. And then afterwards, they'll become the juvenile crabs where they finally settle down on the seashore and they'll try to find an area where they will finally have its adult life, which is, yeah, the mangrove area. They'll move towards inshores. And then afterwards, you have your adult crab. Ta da! Okay, we're well done. Okay, okay, under the floor like that. You only take ten to help you. <laughs> I'm really scared. I, I squash him. The poor crab. So this is a huge mud crab, right? It's a huge mud crab. We know that it's the male because flip it over. You can look at the abdominal flaps here. The male one is a nice little triangle. The female one is a bit bigger and rounder to carry her eggs. And also, if you look at the large claw here, the calipad, so males one are really, really big. Females one, right, they are actually smaller. So it has one, two, three, four, five, five legs here, five legs here. So altogether, there are ten legs. That's why they are in the group, decapods. And then, interestingly, the mud crabs, they are also swimming crabs. Why? Because you look at the back leg, right? It's a paddle-like leg. Can you look at this? So same as the flower crabs. It's just that they can like survive out of water a bit better than the flower ones. And there's also a few like bristle-like hairs here for them to manoeuvre into the mud and burrow into the mud easily. It smells very crabby eh. You mean a crab smells very crabby? Alright Sam, what's next? Soft shell crab? Shall we? <gasps> soft shell crabs are their specialty here. They make really really big fresh soft shell crabs here. <gasps> and I think we get to try some. Before we cook soft shell crab, we have to move three main important parts. First one is where the shit comes out, the abdominal flaps here. Second part will be where they urinate, which is actually in between the eyes. So it's good to just chop off this whole area, just a bit of it. And last but not least are the gills, because the gills are like furry and that's where they filter the water. So good to remove it. Okay, it's clean. Scientifically speaking, soft shell crabs, they are freshly molded crabs of any species. Yes, any species. But in Singapore, usually we will use at least for this farm, it will be mud crabs and um, flower crabs also as well, depending on the demand. Yep. Oh, Keto! You are, oh my dear, you're not. Why are you so naughty? You want some crab too? Um, for commercial crab, social crab farming, they usually will cut away their legs or the floor. 
to force them to mow. So in this way of farming, the meat usually are very little because they need to use their protein to form the leg. In our farm, we don't do this kind of method of farming. We actually feed them until they're full, then they mow. Yeah, for this kind of farming method, you'll be 100% guaranteed the meat is full. You guys ready for a real soft shell? Yeah! It's like fried chicken, but crap. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just like one whole bunch of flour. It's pissed me lah, I guess that's what people like to do. This is different. This me, this, this is actually the meat, oh my god. Hey, the soft shell crab got raw. Oh. oh. <laughs> This is weird, i never seen this before. So how do crab actually mold? They will start off with like a crack at the back and then they will slowly you know, try to wiggle themselves up and they will suck in a lot of water so it will expand their bodies and then slowly push themselves up. So the last part to come out will be their claws. And then after when they come out right, it will need around like 24 hours for the shell to harden. So they have to quickly find a place to hide from away from predators because that's when yeah, the shells are very soft and they are vulnerable. And the older they get right, the molting they will become less frequent and it will take even longer. So if halfway during the whole thing, the shell get, I mean the crab gets stuck, right? The crab will actually die. I can die happily already. I've eaten the real soft shell crab. Goodbye everybody. I'll Wait. go to crab heaven. And Jeff, we have more things for, it, for you to do. Ah! 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 I got it! Ah! Let go! <laughs> ah!